Hey y'all. Crazy Wednesdays. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> We're going to do this or that fruit ABC style. Okay. We're going to get through much of the alphabet as I can. <clears throat> it probably won't be the whole alphabet because I know some fruit don't even isn't in with some of the alphabets forgive my hair guys it's looking crazy I look like a mad person This is my mirror for today. I have a boo boo on my lip. I hurt myself. I hurt myself. It's all right. I'll be okay though. Come on, guys. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Look, this is supposed to be the last week supposed to be the last week we're here together in this pandemic we can get through it we made it to wednesday we're almost there if you are tuning in for the first time i'm juliet from the long island alzheimer's and dementia center i'm bringing to you brain activity wednesday for today today we are doing this or that fruit ABC style. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So we're just gonna go through as much as we can of the alphabet. Talk about the fruit. Um, which one you may prefer. That's what that's all that it is with the this or that. Got my cup of orange juice. <clears throat> it's Wednesday. Remember, <clears throat> this is supposed to be the last week. So, fingers crossed. Hopefully the last week. And we can get back to our normal routine. Seeing each other, visiting each other, spending quality time. In person and not Viva Facebook Live. Again, we are doing this or that fruit, ABC style. If you are just tuning in, I'm Juliet from the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. And I'm bringing you pretty much program, day program, a program, live to you. It's 2 one my program begins at 2, you know, I give everybody those graceful few minutes to come on in, get on in, so hopefully we have a good amount of people in, we can do this, this or that fruit, ABC edition, we're going to get through as much of the alphabet as we can, uh, some of the, you know, some of the alphabets may not even have a fruit, so it'll definitely go for a good minute or so. <clears throat> but we're just here to have fun, wake up our brain, massage it, all types of um, fun stuff. Again, it's this or that uh, fruit, and it's ABC style. We're just going to go through the alphabet, see the fruit, some, some fruits that I've picked out for the alphabet, the letters, and we're just going to talk about them, you know, whether you like them, dislike them, never had them. Um, yeah, anything you could possibly think of, you know, which one you may prefer better 
or you rather uh, just simple conversation just waking up our brains with a little bit of thinking about the fruit and the alphabet all at the same time because you know I'm good for food <laughs> I'm good for food Alright, it's 2.03. I'm just waiting. <clears throat> waiting, for, waiting for a little bit more time. Give a little bit more time for people to come in. It's 2.04. I was supposed to start at 2, but, you know, I give a graceful period, maybe five minutes. Hope everyone's having a good day. Good Wednesday. This is almost over. Hopefully this is the last week. The, you know? So, and we can get back to regular program, regular seeing each other. Before I did this, I made my son a banana pudding. And, yeah, that was my Wednesday so far. Believe it or not, I actually had, um, <laughs> I had, um, I was looking forward to, like, what was I going to do today because I didn't have it planned out. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, wait, I can do something that pertains to the alphabet and something, you know, because I like to eat. So something about eating. So the fruit, what more healthy way, especially with what, what's going on now. Oh, excuse me. A healthy version. We talk about fruit. Like I said, we're going to get through most of the alphabet, or some of the alphabet at least, as much as we can. Just talking about fruit. It's this or that fruit, A, B, C style. Happy Wednesday again. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We've made it. We've made it. we made it. A few more days till the end of the week, and then hopefully this is over. So, because this is supposed to be the last week of this, hopefully we can get back to normal living, going outside, visiting, partying, having fun. Not that we're not having fun here on Facebook Live, because I always have fun with you guys. But, you know, it'll be nice to see you guys in person, give you a hug, you know, stuff like that. All right, so it's 205. Again, we're playing this or that fruit, ABC style. So I'll start. <clears throat> so we're going to start with A. <clears throat> okay, oh, look. Perfect. My book is so perfect. A. And the two fruits that I have is apples or apricot. Apples or apricot. If I had to choose, I would say apples because I never had an apricot. So I don't even know what that tastes like. Like I've I've grew I've grew up on apples. So I eat apples. I've had the green apples. I've had the red apples. You know, they're both good. Um not my forte because it's so hard, but I've never had an apricot, so if I had to choose between apples or apricot, I would definitely choose apples. Apple, 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 apples. Anyone else want to say which one they would choose between apples and apricot? Welcome, welcome. We are playing this or that fruit, ABC style. It's We're just going through the alphabet as much as we can. And we're talking about the fruit that has been chosen. So right now we're, we've started with A, and it's apple or apricot. So you just pick whichever one you prefer, like, or, you know, which one you had the most. 
however you know you rate it it's up to you um i was telling everyone i've never had an apricot before so i would choose apples and yeah there's no wrong there's no right it's you know pretty much what everyone is either into or have had before you know which one you think tastes better so apple or apricot apple or apricot again i choose apples it's okay. You can choose. If you choose both, you can say both. You, you know, you can say some people like both the fruit. Some people like an apple. Some people. I've never had an apricot, so that's the only reason why I'm choosing apples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. If you're just joining us, we're playing this or that fruit abc style we're just going through the alphabet um we're gonna get through as much as we can and we're just going through with what fruit you may like one or the other if you like both you can say both and right now we're gonna go let's see hopefully my book stands up tall still <laughs> okay right now we are let's see all right b okay Blackberries or blueberries? Blackberries or blueberries? Um, I choose neither. See? You can choose neither. You can choose both. <laughs> so whichever one you like. I, per se, never had blackberries. And I've had blueberries, but only in fruit uh smoothies so i really don't taste them like that they're not bad but i'm not really a blueberry fan so and then blackberry i've never had blackberries <laughs> so this is my neither I want neither one. Doesn't matter. I'll substitute them out. <laughs> Which one would you guys prefer? The blackberries or the blueberries? We're doing this or that. Um, again, like I said, I choose neither in this category. Never had blackberries and blueberries. It's not just... I put them in my uh, shakes, but that's about it. I don't eat them regular like I would a strawberry or a mango. Hi, Mandy Man. Thanks, Mandy Man. I miss you too. Tell the kids I said hello. <clears throat> oh, blackberries. Okay, Mandy Man, that's... Someone says blackberries. I say neither. Never had blackberries, and then blueberries is just not something. Jahai is here, guys. He says hello. <laughs> Mandy Man says hi. Fingers crossed, Mandy Man. We're hoping that this is the last week. Remember, this was supposed to be the last week. <laughs> we have our fingers crossed, right? So we can all get back to work. Regular work, that is. <clears throat> okay. All right, C. So now C is cherries or a cantaloupe. Cherries or a cantaloupe. I am a cherries girl. I love me some cherries. Cherries, cherries, cherries. I am a cherries girl. I love eating cherries. Um, one thing I wish I could do is with the little stem is tie the little knot that everyone does with their tongue and stuff. I can't do that. Um, it always seems like fun when someone's able to do it. But um, I every time I try, it just doesn't pan out too well. So, but I still love cherries and I still eat it 
um cantaloupe cantaloupe is not bad i've had a cantaloupe before but yeah i like the cherries cherries thumbs up for the cherries anyone else anyone else cherries or cantaloupe we're on c the letter c we're doing this or that abc style fruit so we're on letter c and the choices are cherries or cantaloupe anyone else cherries or cantaloupe we're on the letter c for the fruit we're doing cherries or cantaloupe which one do you like if you like both of them you can say both just like for b when it was blackberries and blueberries i didn't like neither one of them so i chose neither you can choose both you can tell your experience with both you know which one's sweeter which one the flavor lasts longer. You can, if you like both of them, you like both of them. There's no wrong, there's no right. We're just talking on getting to know basis, you know, about fruit. Going through the fruit and the alphabet. So, again, I'm a cherries girl. Cherries, cherries. I wish I could um, use this, tie the knot with the stem with just my tongue or however they do it. But I haven't mastered it yet. I haven't mastered it. <laughs> So, anyone else? Anyone else? Cherries or cantaloupe? Cherries or cantaloupe? No one else? We'll move on to the letter D. Okay, we're on to D. And it's date, fr date fruit or dragon fruit. Date fruit or dragon fruit for D. Um, again, something I, I've never had either one of them. I'm trying to make sure you guys still are able to see once I prop my book up. Oh, Mandy, man, you like cantaloupe for C. Okay. All right, that's good. I, I've had cantaloupe. Like I said, cantaloupe is not bad. It's good. Um... Yeah, I choose neither for D, the date fruit or the dragon fruit. I've never had neither, so that's the only reason why I'm really choosing neither. Have you had any of them and you just don't like them, or are you the same with me? You've never had neither one of them, so you just don't like them. I've never had neither one, so that's why I'm choosing neither. <laughs> oh, you had date, yes. Not not your thing. Are they how do they taste? Are they sour are they like sour, bitter, no taste like what made you not like them? You never had dragon fruit, neither have I. Were the date fruit? How were the date fruits? Were they were they just just nasty or like did they have like a bad taste? They're sour. The taste lingers for a long time. Anyone else? Also, you can you can let me know whether you like date fruits or dragon dragon fruit. Whether you had either of them or neither. I've never had. Mandy Man said she had date fruit, and she never had dragon fruit. I think mushy. Oh, okay, and she doesn't like the date fruit because they're mushy. She doesn't like the texture. All right, fair enough. That's fair enough. Nothing's wrong with that. Anyone else before we move on to the next letter? Dragon fruit or date fruit? You can, if you've never had either, neither. If you had one, you know, the taste, anything, the color. Mandy Man had date fruits, and she didn't like the texture. She never had dragon fruit, and neither have I. And then I've also never had date fruits either. So she was telling me about the date fruits and why she didn't like them. So you guys can tell me which one you like, which one you prefer, which one you don't like, if you don't like either of them. Dragon fruit or date fruit. I'll give you guys a few more minutes. <clears throat> anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. E. 
E is elderberries, elderberries and or egg fruit. Elderberries or egg fruit. And I've never had either of these, so again, I'm on a neither boat. <laughs> elderberries or egg fruit. I've had neither, so again, I'm on that neither boat. Neither, neither. Anyone else would like to say which one they like? If they've had it or tasted it or seen it <laughs> and it looked even looked weird or for instance like Mandy Man the last time the texture the last fruit she didn't like the texture elderberries has health benefits okay good Mandy Man um Teresa the choices are elderberries or Egg fruit. I it, I know it probably looks backwards. That's why I'm reading it. Um, so it's E. We're doing the alphabet. This or that. Whichever one you like. So it's elderberry or egg fruit. That's the that. Those are the choices. And you just you pick whether which one you like better, or if you don't like them, or you've never had them. Like these two categories, I've never had. So I choose neither. I, I never had an elderberry and I've never had an egg fruit. And Mandy Man, she says she's never had neither, but she heard that the elderberry has healthy benefits, which is, sounds good. Anyone else? Elderberry or egg fruit? We're doing this or that, this or that fruit, and it's ABC style. So we're just going through the alphabet. We're just going through the alphabet. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. See, this has to be over this week because I'm making up songs. <laughs> Staying home is over. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next letter. Okay, F is the next letter, and it's figs or Fiji apple. Figs or Fiji apple. Figs or Fiji apple. And again, it's something that I've never had, so I have no input on this one. <laughs> no input. I heard Fiji apples are good. Figs, mmm... Not a big, not a big fan. Fiji apples. <laughs> Mandy man likes Fiji apples. Nice. Okay. Anyone else? I hope the next, the next letter I've had something from it. Cause so far I think I'm, I think I'm three in a row. I think. I've never had the last three. <laughs> Nothing of the choices. So. Figs only good. Oh, and those cookies. You know what? Yes. Mandy Man, yes. And the Newton cookies. I've had that. So I did have fig before. Um, But I've never had the fig fruit. Like, just the fruit, I guess, by itself. They are good in the cookies. They're good in the cookies. Welcome, welcome. If you are just joining us, I'm Juliet from the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. We're playing this or that fruit, and we're doing it ABC style. So we're just going through the alphabet, picking out some fruit that I've already listed. And, you know, we're just talking about it. So we're talking if we like it, if we had it, how it tastes, how it looks, anything that you want to talk about. Right now we're on the letter F if you're just joining us, and the choices are figs. And Fiji apples. I have one person in here who said that they prefer Fiji apples. And then we were talking about the figs being in the newts. Because I've never had Fiji apples. And the only time I had fig was in a new tins. So. That's. Anyone else want to say which one? Whether it's figs or Fiji apple. Which one you like, which one you've tried, um, which one 
taste better if you tried both of them. Up to you, whichever you want to discuss. Which one you don't like or you you know you haven't tried. Fig or Fiji apples is the choices. All right, we'll move on to the next letter. G is the next letter, G. And a grapefruit or grapes. Grapefruit or grapes. I'm going to choose grapes. Because I don't like grapefruit because it has like that bitter aftertaste. And I, as we, um, if you've watched this prior, I discussed I do not like bitter aftertaste. That's why I don't like lemons or that's why I don't like lime. So, yeah, grapefruit, mm-mm. But grapes, yeah. Thumbs up for the grapes. Yes, Mandy Man. Thumbs up for the grapes. And, you know, when having kids, they're the best solution because the kids love the grapes. <laughs> the kids love the grapes, so they come in real handy when you have children. Grapefruit's good with a sugar on top, but that defeats the purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah, because grapefruit is... Like I said, I, I, I tried it before and it has like a bittery taste. I don't I don't like it. Um, I'm not a big fan. So but hey I might try it with sugar now that you mention it, Mandy Man, because I'm a sugar person and normally when I don't like something Besides strawberries, because I always put sugar on my strawberries, but normally when I don't like something, if I add like a sugar to it, it might might be something I can tolerate. Thanks for that idea. Especially if, if for, God forbid, but if we have to be stuck a little bit longer than this week, I might definitely try it. <laughs> something new to try, and hopefully I like it with the sugar, because I know regularly I don't like the grapefruit. So, well, that works. Anyone else? Grapefruit or grapes? Anyone else? Grapefruit or grapes? Okay, dokie. We're gonna move on to the next one, and the next letter is H, H H H, and it's honey, honey dew melon or huckleberries. Honeydew melon or huckleberries? You know, I'm going to go for the honeydew melon. Me and my cousins, we have this theory. We were playing kind of like this, kind of like this. It wasn't this or that. But we were going around, and it was about four of us. It was me, my brother, my two cousins, three cousins, so five of us. Um, and we, you know, we were spending the night one summer, and we were going around the room. And we were going through the alphabet saying the fruits. And you have to, like, say it really fast. Or if there's any type of pause or hesitation, you, ca you get out. So <laughs> we were going around the room, going around the room. And um, she, we were going around the room, and one of my cousins, it was, so, it was just so funny. Because, like I said, you got to think about the fruit. You got to think about the letter, and you got to say something, you know, with with very fast i think it was more than fruit though i think we had to just say anything with the letter so when we got to h my cousin he just it was so fast and he was like honeydew melon <laughs> and it was so fast and like that stuck with him for like even now like when we speak to him we'd be like honeydew melon <laughs> like we just it's something you know as a kid you when you're doing stuff that's fun you remember so we love talking about that so and besides the honeydew melon being good um you know that's how i remember honeydew melon it's just it's so funny um so that was my little story about the honeydew melon um mandy man says honeydew yes and look see it reminds her of her grandma and she said that her grandma used to serve it before dinner. 
And that's cool. Mandy Man, do you serve it now with your family before dinner? Have you ever tried, like, have you ever thought about keeping up the tradition? That's something nice. And anyone else? The choices are honeydew melon and, or huckleberry. I've never had a huckleberry before, so I don't even know what that tastes like. Even though I picked honeydew melon, but I've never had the huckleberry. So remember, we're playing this or that. You can choose whatever you like. We're doing it ABC style, trying to get through the alphabets. So whatever comes up is what we think of. Right now we're on H, so it's honeydew melon or huckleberry. I said honeydew melon. I told my little family story with the honeydew melon. And Mandy Man has also shared she likes honeydew melon, and it's because... She remembers it from her grandma, and her grandma served it before dinner, used to serve it before dinner. Okay, Mandy Man, talk to you later. Have fun with your call. Why would eat it? Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, anybody else want to tell me honeydew melon or huckleberry before we move on to the next letter? We're going to get through as much letters as we can. It won't be all of the alphabet, I'm sure, but we'll, we'll have some fun. And so far, we've been doing good. Okay, so we did H. All right, now we're going to do I. Um, there's really no fruit that I've known of, but on the internet, it came up with Indian plum or Indian fig. I don't know if anyone's ever had either one of them. I know I haven't. I didn't even know that, um, they have that. <laughs> so, but when you're looking stuff up. You find out, you find out some good stuff. So we're on I, we're talking about fruit. So it's Indian fig or Indian plum. Has anyone ever had either one of those fruits? I know I haven't, so I really, I wouldn't be able to talk about them. If you have, you know, please let us know. What do you like about it? What color is it? Um, how's the texture? Is it sweet? Is it, is it you know, is it bitter? Does the taste linger? Anything. You can tell us anything because I know, especially for me, can't say about anyone else in here, but I've never had either one. So if someone's had one, please feel free to talk about it. Happy Wednesday if you're just joining us. And I'm Juliet from the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. Today for this brainy Wednesday to keep our brains functioning, we are talking about fruit. What other way than to talk about something healthy? Look, we've all been stuck home for a few months. Fruit is definitely something we should definitely have been entering inside of our homes daily just to keep us going. Um, and we're doing it through the alphabet way. So we're just going through the letters of the alphabet and we're talking about certain fruits. Right now we on we are on I. And the choices are Indian plum or Indian fig. Again, I've never had either one of them. So if someone that has had one is here, if you can just tell me about Either fruit, the Indian plum or the Indian fig, if you can tell me the color, the texture, if it's sweet, if it's sour, um, if it, is it a big fruit, is it a small fruit, something about it if you've ever had the, either of those fruits. So again, we're on I and it's Indian plum or Indian fig. If you've had any of those fruit, if you can let me know about them because I've never had and I would love to know something about it, um, color, texture, um, 
sweet or sour, big or small, anything you can think of. Hey, hey, baby. All right, so we're going to move on. The next letter is J. J, 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 J. And we have Java Plum or Jackfruit. Java Plum or Jackfruit. Java Plum or Jackfruit. Um, I've never had either of those either. <laughs> I should have picked some fruit that I had so I could be able to talk to you guys about it. But that's okay because I know you guys will tell me something. If not a lot about all this fruit that I haven't had. And like I said, God forbid, if we are stuck in the house even longer than this week, look, I have something new to try. So I've never had Java Plum or jackfruit so if anyone's in here ever had java plum or jackfruit please feel free to tell me about it tell me if you liked it tell me if you didn't tell me the color tell me the texture tell me if it's sweet tell me if it's sour give me a little info let me know like i said who knows i might want to try it um if we happen to be stuck in the house for another few weeks or even month it may be something for me to try so Java plum or jackfruit? Has anyone ever had it? Anyone, 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 anyone? 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 If you are just joining us, we are playing this or that. Fruit. And it's ABC style. So we're going through the letters of the alphabet. And some of them we will get to, some of them we won't. Um, and that's okay. Some of them don't even have really fruit starting with their letter. So um, we'll get through a good bunch. Um, but we're just telling them, you know, whether we like them, if you ever had them, if you didn't have them. What do you like about them if you had them? Um, what do you don't like about them if you had them and you don't like it? So right now we're on J and it's Java Plum. Okay, yeah. Java Plum and Jackfruit. So again, I've never had either fruit. So I don't know nothing about it. So if you had one or the other or both, if you can tell me about the texture, if you can tell me about if it's a small fruit or a big fruit, if you can tell me if it's sweet, and sa sweet or sour, um, was it good? Did you like it? What do you eat it with? Do you add anything onto it? Or do you just eat it by itself? Is it good with a salad? Is it is it good just on a regular day? Um, whichever fruit you had. So, because I know nothing about either of these fruits. So, the java, java plum or jackfruit. I hear java and I, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> All right, so I guess everyone's with me. Never had it. Okay, on to the next one. All right, it's K, the letter K. So it's kiwi or kumquat. I've never had the kumquat. And kiwi... I hate kiwi. <laughs> I, uh, oh my goodness. I hate kiwi. Like, I don't know. I just, it's too slimy. Once you finally cut the skin off and get it through. And then I just don't like the taste of it. Mm-mm. And then I always think about this one time when I made a drink and I used kiwi, I guess, to get rid of the kiwi. And my friend, he was allergic, but I didn't know. <laughs> so I gave him the drink and I almost killed him. So then it's definitely like, okay, no kiwi. So... Uh, 
I don't I don't like I don't like kiwi and the other one the come squat I've never had anyone anyone can tell me about which fruit they like anyone if, if even if you don't like neither one like I said this is you can tell me about not liking either one you know like I, I I have a story behind everyone I don't like <laughs> either I've never had it or this is probably the only one I've had a bad experience with when I almost killed my friend who who's allergic <laughs> other than that all the other fruit either I've never had or I actually like the other fruit so Tell me something good. Tell me something good. Something good. <clears throat> I won't eat kiwi, though. If we, God forbid, are stuck in the house for longer than this week, I'm not going to eat kiwi. I know the other fruits I've been saying I'll try if you tell me something good, but, yeah, no. Not the kiwi. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. I just don't like it. <clears throat> All right. So the next one, L, and it's lime or lemon. Lime or lemon. And again, I like neither. Don't like the bitter taste. I know the lemon is good for you, so I do. I have lemons from time to time. I put it in my tea, and I, I might have a little bit of lemon water. Um, but even still, it probably, honestly, and I love water, but it probably takes me like two days just to drink lemon water, only because I don't like the lemon. But I know it's good for you. I know it's healthy. And you can keep a lime. I don't, I don't want the lime. Anyone else? Anyone like the lime? Like the lemon? Or don't? Like me? Whichever one. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a cool story behind it. You can tell me your story like I've told you mine. Hmm. We're on L if you're just joining us. The fruit, we're going, we're doing this or that fruit. And it's ABC style. We're on L. It's lemon or lime. Lemon or lime. Is there anyone that likes both together? Like, I know some people that like both. Whew. Now? All right. Next, next letter. We're on M. And it's mangoes or mulberry. Mangoes or mulberry. I'll take the mangoes. Thumbs up for the mangoes. They're so delicious. We're doing this or that fruit with ABC style. We're just going through the alphabets as much as we can. So right now we're on M. Mango or mulberry? Mangoes or mulberries? And I said thumbs up to the mangoes. I've never had the mulberries. But if someone can give me a cool story or some details about how it tastes, you never know. Might be something for me to try. Mangoes or mulberries. We're doing this or that fruit. I'll take the mangoes over the mulberries. I've never had the mulberries, so mangoes is definitely. I love mangoes. Mangoes. Anyone else? And this is the last one that we have. Alrighty. Well, 
we've done A through M. And I think we were at a point where half of them, I, like a few of them, back to back especially. I never tried them. I never had them. So it's a good thing I got a few, a few more done. And I did have those or, you know, I liked them or I tried them. So that's a plus. That's good. Um, you know, it's, it's Wednesday. It's midweek. We've made it half. So it's. We're just waking up your brain, giving you a little massagey, massagey, um, talking about regular everyday stuff and the fruit. This, this or that. It was just something simple, you know. Whether you like it or you didn't, or you tried it or you didn't, or you had it or you didn't, you know. This or that. It's something fun, something, something good to have. So again, I thank you guys for tuning in, and it was fun as always. Maybe next week. If, if, that's a big if, if I'm doing this, we'll finish off the rest of the alphabet. I have it in my book so I know where I left off. And you guys continue to stay safe, stay at home. Again, keep our fingers crossed. This is, we were told that, you know, till the 15th, so this is supposed to be our last week. Hopefully it's still, still that reason still that hopefully that's still good and we'll be out of here on monday and in our workplaces going outside having fun visiting our families that we haven't seen and since this happened um you know and just stay positive and keep doing what we're doing to stay safe so social distancing staying home unless you have to go out for food shopping um, you know, wear your mask, wash your hands, everything that should be taking place to keep us all safe. Again, we have this Monday through Saturday. The times are 10.30 a.m., 12.30 noon, and 2 p.m. In order for you guys to tune in, the videos, I believe, stay up 24 hours at least. If not, maybe more. You can re-watch them, tell a friend, tell a family member. Um, you can also tell them to tune into those those times like i said we're here monday through saturday 10 30 a.m 12 30 noon and 2 p.m i'll be back tomorrow at 12 30 noon with thursday's chair exercise and thursday's pre-friday junior so i like to have a lot of fun i like to laugh i like to stretch i like to do it all and get ready for the friday because friday we party so um thank you guys again for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow and you guys have a great wednesday